Good morning guys, it's JB from Will Fly for Food. I'm behind bars right now here in Hanoi, Vietnam. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the gate to my uh, Air Airbnb, the alleyway. They lock it up at night for security. But it's about 3.45 in the morning right now. Um, the reason why I'm awake so early is because I'm waiting for Chef uh, Duyen of a chef's tour to come pick me up at 4 a.m. She's gonna take me on this first ever look at this hasn't been launched, soon to be launched. Newest food tour from her friends at a chef's tour. Uh, my first stop is going to be super interesting. It's going to be this market, which I believe opens, I guess, at 4 a.m. Um, I've seen a lot of them featured on those travel food shows about Vietnam, but we've never actually been to one. So that should be super cool, and I'm looking forward to it. It should be interesting. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have a key. So, <laughs> okay. Um, and they have to buy from the water. Our first stop would be Quang Ba Flower Market, one of three markets we'd be visiting on today's tour. Sourced from different regions in Vietnam, Quang Ba Market is Hanoi's main wholesale market for fresh cut flowers. It was barely 4.30 in the morning when we arrived, but according to Chef Du Yen, most of the market's flowers have already been sold at this time. She said the market is lively at around 2 a.m. Still, it's easy to see the volume of flowers that go through here every day. We wouldn't stay long at Quang Ba Flower Market before moving on to the second market of this tour. This is the market I was referring to at the start of this video. Known as Long Bien Market, it's one of the biggest and most important markets in Hanoi and the reason why this tour needs to start so early. We often visit wet markets when we travel, but always during the daytime, after most of the stocks have already been sold. This was my first time visiting a market at its liveliest. The difference in market activity between 4am and 11am is literally like night and day. This place was abuzz with energy. If you have a serious passion for food or street photography, then you'll want to get up for this. Trust me, it's worth it. Long Bien Market is huge, so we must have spent a good two hours exploring it. By the time we got out, it was already sunrise and time for my favorite part of the tour breakfast. But before that, let me quickly talk about the third and final market we visited on this tour, Dong Shuan Market. It's the largest covered market in Hanoi and where you can buy some of the best spices in the city. We made a quick stop here between meals to round up the market portion of this tour. Okay, now we can talk about the street food. I've been on many of their tours, and this chef-led tour by a chef's tour wouldn't be a chef's tour's tour without copious amounts of food, and that's exactly what you'll get here. Here are all six dishes and drinks Chef Dui had to try on this tour. Oh, lucky! So beautiful, look at this! All this color and texture, I can smell it! saying no, right? <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> we can feel us. In Vietnam, when you bring the beer, you have to say Mot, Hai, Ba, Yo. It, mot, Hai, Ba, Yo. It's been one, two, Mo three, cheer. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> 
I'm so happy I got your approval, chef, even though I completely butchered that phrase. You, on the other hand, deserve all the praise in the world. That was an amazing tour, one of the best I've been on so far. I was running on less than 3 hours sleep, but you made the experience totally worthwhile. Guys, if you're planning a trip to Hanoi and have an interest in food, markets, or street photography, then you should definitely check out this tour. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy traveling.